Did you know 70 million people suffer every day from bulimia? Hi, my name is Christina and welcome to Make Reviews. In this episode, we'll review the book Perfect. In this book, there's a girl named Isabel. She is a 13-year-old girl who has problems that many young girls do not face at her age. Her father died a couple months ago and she's facing a lot of trauma sins. Her father and her were very close and from the stress of his death, she developed bulimia. Bulimia is an eating disorder characterized by binge eating and followed by purging. Her mother found out and sent her to a body image therapy group. This group is helping her overcome her disorder. Isabel was not happy about going to this group, but her mother forced her. She wanted the best for her. She recognized this girl in a therapy group. She went to school with her since she was very young, but they never really talked. Although Isabel had always wanted to be her friend, this girl was way too popular for her. Isabel had many questions to ask her, like, why was she there? What was wrong with her? What was her illness? This book setting was very unclear and fuzzy. The author did not make it clear of what the setting was, but from the minimal information I got, the book setting is a modern world with realistic and accurate issues a normal person would face worldwide. An enjoyable character was April, because she saw what Isabel was doing to herself, and even though Isabel told her not to tell, she did because she wanted the best for her sister, as she didn't like to see her suffer. April told her mother, and Isabel was put into a therapy group where she was getting help. If she had not seen or had not done anything about it, Isabel could have gotten very sick. This book was about friendship and change. Isabel had to change her lifestyle to overcome her bulimia. She had to change her mindset on not purging after she eats. She could also less binge eat, so she would have less of an urge to throw up after. Another theme in this book is friendship, because she becomes friends with a girl in this book. This book has the same style of many other books I've read. It's in first person. Isabel says stuff like I and my, etc. Many of the books I've read have that same style. It's, it is not a very long or challenging book to read. There are very simple words, but it's a very serious subject that can be hard to understand or comprehend for younger viewers. I had many mixed feelings for this book. It had some very good obstacles, but there were many parts of the book that were very plain and had no obstacles. There was nothing interesting going on for most of the part, but when something interesting happened, the author really brought my attention. Then let me down again when it wasn't interesting anymore. I think that the author achieved of what she was going for, and she stuck with it for the whole book. Also, the book felt complete by the end. There was nothing missing in the book. She had completed the story efficiently and completely. If I was the author, I would have made more obstacles throughout this book. There could have been more surprising parts, for example, parts that you would have never believed would have happened next. I feel that while I was reading this book, I guess what would happen next. She didn't do a very good job of letting you use your imagination to imagine what was going to happen next. But instead, it was very easy to tell, which was not very fun. This book was very predictable. Other readers could enjoy this book but more than I did. For example, I like a book that lets me use my imagination, but for some people, they rather have a book that explains everything and not let you use your imagination. Or likes a book that doesn't have many obstacles and does not have very many surprises. Then this would be the book for you. While I was reading this book, I really just wanted it to be over. I was not very attached or into it as I would have liked to have been. I just wanted to get over with it. It did not engage my emotions. It, I did not think about it for days. All I thought about was when will it be over? If there had been more surprising parts, then maybe I would have liked the book more. It just depends on the reader. I think this book is for ages 11 plus because of how serious her illness is. Any younger viewer may not understand the stuff that Isabel will go through in the book. I give the book a 3. It was an okay book. The minimal obstacles really helped and the problem was very meaningful, but other than that, it was not a very good book.